hello it's nia and we just did chapter nine (laughs) in whatever week we think that this is for the chapter i read the walkthroughs i i fully completed uh two of them the first two like the whole time i was kind of wondering am i like really not doing that much in vital and i feel like the answer is is yes a little bit um i'm i'm not really doing this much partially i think because when you already have knowledge of the sounds that you want to make um it's a little easier to be more pointed in your choices rather than following instructions that are so parsed out certainly i'm still a capital n noob when it comes to synthesizer work but also partially when you know what you want it doesn't take as long for the actual your turn part of it um the book suggested okay so in your own synthesizer go in and pick a preset and really dissect it so i picked this preset and i can't actually recall if it loads in and you and these are already turned off but regardless i'm just using the second oscillator and which sounds like this Let's see. I really like actually that these this same like you know whatever this is random parameter is mapped to this same function because they're kind of fighting with each other and really contributing with the combination of those effects to this sparkly spacious reverby sound which really contributes to what I'm trying to do. And that will probably uh, be good. Thank you for listening. And I will see you soon.